Hey guys, Swing Gamers here. My name's Sean, and today I'm joined with Josh. Top of the muffin, too. Top of the muffin. So anyway, <laughs> we're here to talk about games. Uh, today, we're focusing a little bit more on achievements, trophies, as well as challenges. So anyway, these are like they're challenges that you get in games. Yep. They're almost milestones, you would say, yep. right? Do you reckon they're a major part of games nowadays, or do you reckon it's just a minor thing that will blow over? Oh no, no, it's definitely part of game development now. Like games are being developed, and trophies and achievements are an integral part um, of the game. So games are coming out like you know Uncharted Four or whatever. They're all releasing with trophies, and they're really important. Important. Yeah. So. With the Xbox 360, when it first launched in 2005, 2006, yep. it had achievements when it first was released. Mm -hmm. All the games had achievements, and if you got to a certain part in the story, if you did something and accomplished something yeah, during the game, yeah, out pops the achievement, you get a little score, and that adds to your tally, yep. which is the score of all your games combined. Now, initially, this didn't start with the PlayStation, did it? Just like most things with PlayStation, always starts a couple of years later. So that was introduced 2008. Yeah. Um, and then games that didn't have trophies, like they went back and, uh, what would you say, fixed like Uncharted and Metal Gear Solid 4. They added trophy support, which is really cool. Yeah, so there are some games like Ratchet & Clank Tools of Destruction. Yep. These were games that were released before trophies were allowed, uh, well, not allowed, but implemented, <laughs> and they didn't actually have any. They had the challenges in the game, mm -hmm. and they could very easily make trophies out of them, but they chose not to because they had to uh, edit dormant code and had to change a couple of things, make sure it tested, make sure it all worked, and it was too hard. Uh, well, not too hard, but they didn't want to focus on it. They wanted to focus on making new, new games. New games, yeah. And, and that's the thing. Trophies are very important in the fact that people want to show off their achievements. So people have spent you know, hours upon hours completing challenges and online maps and things like that. They want to promote them to their friends. And these new consoles, the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, have made that easy. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter, Anything. pretty much any social Anything, network really. of your choice. Yeah, Yeah. Um, even with Steam nowadays as a PC platform, any games on there, most of them actually have achievements as well, uh, or like little challenges yeah. that you can beat. And you get badges and all that sort of thing as well. So there's a whole lot of collecting and being able to show off your milestones to friends and to other people around the world. I think that's kind of something that's drawn people to games a little bit more. Yeah. It used to be the case where you just play a game and you finish it and you can say, yeah, I beat it. Or you might be able to show someone's save file of like Donkey Kong Country or something like that. You'd show yeah. your 102 or 103 100, percent yeah. uh, or something like that. But nowadays, you can just show your achievement list or your trophy list. And that's not just on console. You're seeing that uh, appear in like mobile gaming as well, like games you download on your phones have achievements. Pretty yeah. much where you know people want that instant gratification and tr trophies and achievements are a way of doing that. Yeah, even with your Android device or your Apple device, you've got your Game Center or you've got your Google Play Store and they've got your your score and your profile. And, yeah. Exactly, and you can get like different levels. So for example, uh, an, an achievement or a badge or something like that might be like 500 experience and that will go towards your next level. So these trophies and achievements, they're all integrating into games. Do you think that it's kind of like a big, massive part of games now. Do you reckon people really care that much about they it? They do. As I said earlier, there's websites dedicated to tracking your trophies and achievements. So there's trophy hunters out there who go to platinum games that you know might not actually be good games. Like personally, you know, I've said this to you before. I've platinum Hannah Montana and uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, not because they're great games, but the fact that I wanted to platinum those games and have that on my list and you know rank up. Yeah, I think one of the games that well, one of the easiest games I would say for me was uh, the Legend of Avatar: uh, The Burning Earth on the Xbox 360. It has a total of five achievements, and you can get all those achievements within the first minute of playing the game because it's just a multiplier. Uh, you, you've got a wind attack as long yep. as you get the combo up to 50, you've got a thousand yeah. gamer score. And so there are these sorts of games where they've got that easy achievements or easy trophy score, which a lot of people are going for just for that, but. It's almost a positive for the developers yeah. because they're actually putting games out which may not be as successful or as popular as other games. However, people are drawn to them because of the easy achievements. Yeah, and trophies and achievements can be done really well and really bad. Like games like Last of Us, for example, is a perfect example of a great you know trophy list. Um, the game's basically a single player game, so people are playing it for the story, but most of the uh, trophies were online, and that was to promote the multiplayer, which it's not really known for. So the fact that people are playing multiplayer just to get those trophies, it introduces them to the multiplayer of Last of Us, which is really good. Yeah, and then you've got games like Assassin's Creed, where it's just hunting for collectibles. There are some multiplayer achievements, uh, like to get to max level for your multiplayer level yeah. or something like that, but a lot of the time it's just collect coll everything. Collect all the fragments or collect all the, the treasure chests or feathers or anything like that. It's just a collectathon, which, yeah. like, we love collectathons, but sometimes it feels like it's just put into the game for the sake of being exactly. in the game, to, for, for filler content, you would say. Yes, well, that's a part. Obviously, with the pre-owned game market, 
game developers want people to keep their games and having trophies and uh, achievements and things like that keeps people playing the game, keeps them collecting and that means they're holding on to the disc which means they can sell them more content through DLC and things like that. And even DLC now has trophies and achievements. Yeah, I reckon some games uh, they actually use like the, the time of year that you actually play the game to get an, uh, achievements and trophies. Like even on websites which track your achievements and trophies, they've got achievements and trophies themselves and badges themselves that you can unlock while you're playing other games. So it might say, you know, play a game on Valentine's Day. Yeah, exactly. And they can it, it get make, really smart and creative with it. Exactly, and it makes a joke that, you know, you can't, you don't have someone for Valentine's Day so you're going to play a game instead. But yeah. like, these uh, these challenges, these accomplishments and milestones, people are drawn to them like flies to a blue light, and, they and that really is want to do proven it. in like you get trophies on Xbox uh, achievements, sorry, on Xbox yeah. One by going on Twitch. It's in everything. Facebook, you know, you play your games on Facebook, you're getting with credits and points yeah. and things that you can invest in other games. But it's the point of people wanting the gratification. And now with consoles, you've got the PS4 and the PS Vita, you know, they the trophies interconnect. Yeah, yeah. And I know, like, there's sometimes I've played a game on PS4 and then there was a uh, Vita version, played it on Vita and the trophies are automatic, so I get the Platinum twice. Yeah. Um, there are even apps like Netflix. If you watch Netflix on your Xbox One, if you yep. watch comedy sh uh, videos or music videos for 10 hours, there's, get, an, there's, there's an achievement. An achievement yeah. If you watch a video or watch Netflix every single day for a month, that's another achievement. So exactly. there are ways to get people to just do basic tasks. It's not just in games, but like there are even apps Everything. that you can get on Just mobile. access things that you might not you know, necessarily do on the console. Exactly. And even outside of that, you could set up a checklist for tasks like doing the washing and you can make give yourself an achievement. You say you completed it, you get experience. It leads towards nothing. But anyway, yeah, yep. as we were saying, like achievements, trophies, and important. challenges and all that, they are, they are important to games. And it looks like games nowadays, they're going to be including yeah. a lot of them. So if you want an easy platinum, please play Hannah Montana for the PlayStation 3. <laughs> it's the best decision of your life, trust me. Yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for us this week at Swing Gamers. So we'll see you guys next week. See you later. Thanks, Sean. That was really informative. I've got to say, achievements and trophies, always something a lot of people get confused about. I'm really glad he's there to clarify things for us. You're not wrong. Uh, sit tight. We've got a few messages from the advertisers, but there's more 3SSR TV after this.